day YouTube, Motomaster X5 here, on another wonderful Friday morning. I don't know why I said another, I don't always record on Friday mornings, but today I'm recording on Friday morning, which is good because I don't work on the weekends. Well, I don't work at my day job, but you know what I mean. Um, just uploaded another video, and I was looking at some of my older videos, and I remembered that, uh, or I saw that I had posted a video on self-driving cars a little bit ago, and basically how I figured, you know, pretty shortly we'd have self-driving cars being the standard, and then like a standard driven car wouldn't be a manual, or sorry, a manual driven car wouldn't be a manual transmission, but it would be you manually drive it yourself, like I'm doing now. Well, that's a bad example, because mine was also a manual transmission. You know what I mean. Let's hold that down a wee bit. But, the point being, that self-driving cars would be taking over, you know, I don't remember what time frame I actually said. I really should have, I, I know how I say I like to do my videos off the cuff, but I probably should have done slightly more research for this video. <laughs> as you'll see, this was kind of just a thought I had as I was running out the door. Um, and I've been thinking about self-driving cars on and off a little bit lately. But, I, I honestly, I don't think we're as close as we think to having self-driving cars, at least not nationwide, or rather worldwide, in every part of the world. Um, you might say, duh, um, but I, I don't necessarily mean because of financial or economic reasons. I also mean technologically speaking. So, you know, self-driving cars, they, from what I've seen, they've come a long way, and they're pretty decent. I still don't know if I trust them. I sometimes watch videos of people in their Teslas, testing the self-driving feature, and I've seen some close calls where, like, you know, I saw this one video, this guy had the self-driving mode on, and he was on, like, a highway interchange, interchange, and he was going on a long sweeping bend, and traffic was all stopped on the bend. You know, me and you as humans, we could easily see that traffic was stopped. Um, there we go. You can easily see that traffic was stopped, but I guess the way the Tesla's cameras and their radar is facing, they couldn't see it just because it was at a weird angle and there was glare. It was like worst case scenario. And the guy had to intervene, and if he didn't, there's a good chance he would have crashed. Um, so, you know, there's, there's still some bugs to work out, and self driving cars now are, they tend to be overly cautious to the point where they could probably back traffic up. Just because, you know, if they go to merge onto a highway, they probably end up just slamming on their brakes and stopping at the top of the on-ramp if there's too much traffic. Whereas, you know, me and you, we could time an opening, most likely, and merge in. And that, don't get me wrong, it could still happen that you get stopped, but I, I just think we're going to have more issues with traffic flow with self-driving cars at first, due to them being programmed to be overly safe. And when I say safe, I don't necessarily even mean that they're technically going to be safer because of this. I just mean, like, you know... From a standpoint of, I don't want my company to be sued, if I was programming a self-driving car, I would err on the side of the car going a little bit slower than faster until the technology is more fleshed out, because you don't know if something's going to go wrong and the car is going to crash, and if your car is doing like 65 when it crashes on an on-ramp, it's going to look a lot worse than if it was doing like 35, just from a legal standpoint and your company not losing its ass in a lawsuit. I understand it. I don't think it's necessarily safer to go overly slow, but I understand it. But that's not even why. That's not even the issue. The issue I see is inclement weather, like snow, heavy rain. Um, I just, now I could be completely wrong, and this is why I think I should have done a little bit more research before I made this video. But I really do wonder if places like around here in central New York, we get a ton of snow in the winter. And not only does it hamper your car's ability to, you know, have traction and be able to brake and corner, which I don't know how self-driving cars are gonna handle that. I mean, 
are they going to have to mandate you have very good snow tires when you're using a self-driving car? Because I can tell you, like, if you're driving a car with all seasons, even sometimes with snow tires, but not as often, in heavy snow, it is completely different from driving on pavement. Like, you can hardly accelerate, and, like, if you slip, you have to know how to compensate to keep the car from spinning out. Um, if you're going around a corner, you might start sliding. Again, you have to know how to kind of hold a drift in the car to not, you know, spin out and just, you know, completely lose control. And on top of that, the traction issues and the handling issues, you also have to consider that the sensors are not going to be able to optimally, optimally see everything. Around here, I mean, I don't know, I think I've recorded a couple of videos on heavy snowfall, almost no doubt have. It gets to the point where the windshield wipers can hardly keep up. Uh, what's going to happen to, I believe self-driving cars still use cameras for a few of their sensors. They probably, I think they use some kind of LiDAR, some kind of radar system, and then they also use cameras. Those cameras are going to be virtually useless in a heavy snow scenario. I mean, you, they'll, they'll just get covered in snow, the lenses, unless they put little wipers on them. And even then, I don't know. They might, the wipers could get frozen. I've had times where my wipers get covered in snow and they're not even working anymore. So you can't even rely on wipers sometimes. I have to keep pulling over and shaking them off. And even then, I believe the heavy snow would affect a radar system too. Um, you'd have the radar bouncing off of thick snow, you'd hurt the range. So, same with heavy rainfall, it could affect it. So, in my opinion, a huge issue is going to be weather. Especially places that have a lot of snow, or have just a lot of rain, or a lot of inclement weather, basically. I don't think self-driving cars will be able to drive very well in that type of weather. Now, yeah, granted, that's not going to be a year-round thing, or all the time even, in the winter, most days, I'm sure a self-driving car can handle it, because the roads are usually pretty clear 90% of days, but those 10% of days are enough where the cars are not going to be fully self-driving anytime soon. I mean, you can't just say to your boss, sorry, I can't come to work, it's snowing, and my car can't make, make it. No, I know my boss, <laughs> my company, if it is blizzarding out, unless I am snowed in completely, um, I'm expected to make it to work. I have to drive to work in a blizzard. So, and I know a lot of other companies are like that. You don't just get a day off because it's snowing and the weather's shitty. So, pretty much, they're always going to have to have the manual override where you can drive the car yourself, at the very least, in the short term. Um, so yeah, that's... Just my thought that I had on self-driving cars and why I don't think they're going to fully take over anytime soon. Now, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section on why the weather shouldn't affect them too much. Because again, I'm no expert in this field. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of self-driving cars, honestly. I think it's a cool technology. I can see its merits. But me personally, I don't have any intention of going out and buying a self-driving car for a long time until they have a proven track record of being very safe. And even then, I don't overly care. I like driving. So it's one of those things where I'm not overly interested in it other than just knowing where technology is going and the future of the automotive industry. So again, I could be very wrong. But I just, I don't think that self-driving cars will be the main stay of, tra of transportation in the next decade even. It might become more and more prevalent, but it's going to be a while. Well, that's all guys. Motomaster X5 signing out. Have a good one.